Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we've got a new firmware for your Zygu X6200 radio. There have been in the past some reports that the firmware bricked the radio and they rescinded that firmware, they took it down, you couldn't download it anymore and anybody that bought their radio through Radiodity, using the link in the description below, will wind up with a repaired radio if they send it in for repair or replacement. So you don't have to worry about it if you buy it from a reputable vendor. But this one I haven't heard any problems about, so I wanted to share with you the details of this firmware update. If you need to know how to update the firmware, I've got a video on how to update the firmware up in the corner for you right there. Let's get into it. The notes on the firmware update. If you start out with the current version of the firmware from Radiodity's website, you'll get a document in there, a PDF document in there you can read that has all of this information in it as well as the instructions on how to do it. And I want to start at the beginning which is at the bottom. So it's in reverse chronological order with the latest updates up top, but we're gonna start at the bottom. You can see this is operating system 1.0 and firmware 1.0, and they were released on May 30th and May 29th, 2024. This is the initial version. So there's no changes from that. And then we get into version 1.01 on July 20th and 1.01 on July 20th for the app and for the firmware. And this is all crossed out because this one was officially revoked. This version has been officially revoked. I'm not sure why they took it off. I'm not sure if this one was specifically causing the bricking or not, but when I went out to make my how to update the firmware video, it was gone, and I just had to make the video on the firmware update process itself and no other news. And then we come up to the current version that you can download on Radiodity's website, and that is app version 1.01 on July 20th, so it looks like that didn't change, and firmware version 1.01 on July 26th, so that one did change, and make sure that that is the date that you get when you download your firmware. It's the only one you can get. If you have anything else, delete it all first, then download this one. And we'll talk about some of the changes that have occurred in this firmware. It adds a transceiver audio equalizer. It adds display adjustment options for bandwidth, spectrum, waterfall, color, etc. It adds the spectrum center line switch. The user can choose to turn those on or off. It adds an MFK variable step. It adds voice compression. It adds an automatic screen backlight dimming off. I don't know how that's accomplished. I guess it's just time-based. Uh, CW decoder threshold adjustment, waterfall map translation switch. The waterfall map will translate with the frequency change after opening. That's kind of confusing. I don't really know what they're trying to say there. It optimizes the frequency spectrum display speed more smooth. I want to see the waterfall display updated faster just because it looks better. You can actually like feel that the speed is wrong if it's moving too slow. Optimizes the automatic level for better contrast and it's easier to see clearly. And then they change the way that some of the function key logic works so that you can change your parameters directly without having to move the MFK knob. So there's buttons at the bottom of the screen and then there's your MFK knob. And sometimes you couldn't change the settings with the buttons at the bottom of the screen. You had to use the knob and you didn't know which time it was which and how it worked. So it was a little confusing. So they fixed that. Fixes some display content, display incomplete issue. I didn't, I didn't suffer from this problem, uh, so I can't show you what it looks like now and what it looked like before. Fixes the power alarm bug, fixes the CW auto key bug, fixes the transmit power control bug for uh, plosive sounds like P and T. It's prone to make a popping sound, and that's supposed to be fixed now. So one of the things that they want to alert you to is never update your radio if it's not really necessary. In other words, don't fix it if it's not broken. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This cannot be emphasized often enough to update the Zygu X62 only use firmware that you can find on the Radiodity support pages. Before carrying out an update, make sure that the firmware is still available for download on our support page. All four updates for the Zygu X6200 are supplied with release notes, so carefully read those release notes. And here are the release notes, and this is gonna look fairly much the same. It's gonna have all of the same fixes released in it, and it's going to have the same version numbers in it. And this is how you can tell what your version number is without having to actually install it on the radio first. Well, folks, there you go. There's the latest firmware as of July 26th, 2024. I've installed it on my radio, and everything looks like it's working fine so far. You'll know right away if you bricked your radio because it won't come on anymore. Reach out to your Radiodity customer support rep and they will take care of it for you. If you don't have an X6200 yet, there are links in the description down below where you can get one with a discount. In the meantime, there's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.